Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, we're gonna look at using entity resolution in an Alexa skill. But before continuing, make sure to look at the video description. This stuff changes really quickly. And so if you see something like this in the video description, uh, updated video with a link, follow that link and go to the most current version of the tutorial. I don't want you wasting your time on outdated tutorials. Okay, with that said, uh, getting back to it, Entity resolution is basically a way to clarify ambiguous terms that a user might say when they're using an Alexa skill. For example, if we were creating a skill, and we're gonna do that, we're gonna just create a skill as I'm uh, talking through this here. Um, we'll call this skill Radus. Let's say that we're creating a skill that will let a user rate a company or, or maybe their products or something like that. And, um, we want it to be natural. So uh, rather than saying rate us on a scale of one to 10, where we know they're gonna say a number, maybe we just wanna say something like, hey, how are we doing? And the response to that could be any number of things. Could be good, could be great, could be uh, okay, terrible. But let's say we still wanna associate what they say with a numeric scale, but we don't want them to have to say the scale just keep, to keep the, um, the experience more natural. That's a case where we would use entity resolution. And so uh, we're gonna do that here with uh, with this. Wait a second, um, this is not what I wanted. Let me delete this. And I wanna use one of the new um, hosted skills. Let's try that. So rate us and using the new Alexa hosted skills. And that way I can show you all the code here in the editor without using the uh, Alexa CLI, which is normally how I would do it, except um, uh, I'll probably do one using the, the CLI also, maybe create a template that shows uh, the code for doing entity resolution, but it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna just, um, I'm gonna just do it in here. Uh, so I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so now my skill is ready to go. I'm gonna open a couple of other tabs here. It's just easier to go between the tabs. So we're gonna, we've got our interaction model that'll be on this tab and then the, um, the code on this tab. And then I'm gonna open one more tab for testing. And all right, let's go back over here. So the scenario that we're gonna set up here is when the user opens the skill, we're just gonna prompt the user to rate us. And then uh, we're gonna let the user say whatever they wanna say, and we wanna map that back to a numeric value. And then we'll just like replay that back to the user. So um, what do we have to do? We're gonna add, a, uh, we're gonna add an intent here called, um, uh, what should we call this? We'll call this the, uh, this is gonna be the intent that's gonna reply back with what the user said. So we'll call this um, rating intent. And uh, so this is where uh, we're going to need, we're gonna set up a, uh, a custom slot type, and then we're gonna set up the entity resolution for this. Um, so what we want is we want the user to be to be able to say something like, you're doing great or you're doing good. And again, we want that to map to a number. So we, we're gonna go over here to, um, to slot types, and I'm gonna add a, a slot type, and I'm gonna call the slot uh, rating. ratings and the slot value. So I'm gonna have, um, we're gonna have, um, we'll have uh, one, two, and three. One, two, three. And we're gonna add an ID for each of these two. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. So this is the numeric value that we want for our rating. So if we were gonna do reporting or something like that, and we wanted to, to show um, how many people rated us two, how many people rated us a three, but again, we don't want them to ask that. We can use entity resolution or synonyms to map other things that the user would say to the corresponding value. 
So um, if one is bad and three is good, up here we'll say great, um, awesome, uh, perfect. And those will all equal a three, which is the best rating. And two would be um, good, okay, not bad, decent. And then one would be terrible, awful, awful, the worst. And these are gonna be bad. And so now um, we've got our custom slot type ratings with our rating one through three and our synonyms over here. And this is where the entity resolution part is coming in. And now we're just going to use this slot type in our rating confirmation intent over here. Uh, so we're going to say something like, um, you're doing rating like this, and then we're gonna set up this slot to be one of our custom slot types, uh, ratings. And um, then we'll just also say something like this. So the user can just say good, bad, whatever. All right. Um, so now we need to, we can save and uh, build this. I'm gonna just copy that, we'll build this model and while that's building, we'll go over and we'll code up um, our intent here. So we're going to, we got our, we're gonna create a new intent um, like this and I'm just gonna copy and paste this hello world intent. like this and so we're going to call it the rating confirmation intent handler and it is going to be used for the rating confirmation intent and um, let's see I am going to uh, for this actually I'm going to copy and paste some code that I did just to save us some time. And I'll show you what I'm doing in here. Um, so what I'm doing in here is um, I'm, I've got a default response that we're going to uh, say back to the user, which is I'm not sure what that means. And this is going to be a response if we don't hear um, one of the synonyms that uh, that we use. So if they say something that just doesn't make any uh, any sense or hasn't been mapped, then that's what we're going to hear. Hopefully we won't hear that. Um, what we're looking for though is the value of the uh, the slot rating that I created. And if that value exists, if there is a, a value for rating, then we're going to use the um, entity resolution resolutions per authority and, and I'm gonna just take the very first one. So this is gonna come over in the request from Alexa if um, there is a, a match, an entity resolution match. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the, the first one that comes over and if the match is successful, this here, and I'll make this, I'll put a link out to this code too so you don't have to um, pause and copy all of this stuff. I'll put a, a link in the, the description. And what I'm, what I'm really trying to get here is the ID. Remember we set that, uh, that ID value and I'm trying to get that value. And then what, what I want to respond back with is I heard you say we're doing whatever the rating is on a scale of one to whatever they said. And then on a scale of one to three, that is a ID, which is the numeric value that we want. And um, uh, yeah, let's see if we, uh, if that works. So I need this, I need to register this. So I'm gonna come down here and add it like this. And I believe, I believe, oh, one thing, uh, just we'll do here, I'll just say something like, um, how are we doing? And then they can say great, bad, poor, whatever. Um, really don't need that anymore, but 
that's all right. We'll save it and then deploy it. And this is going to push it out so that we can uh, test it and see if it works. OK, it looks like it's tested or it's pushed out and it looks like the model is built. So now we can go over here to our testing tab and turn on testing and um, say open radius. How are we doing? And let's see. Good. I heard you say we're doing good. On a scale of one to three, that's a two. So there you go. That is it. A uh, super um, simple introduction to uh, using uh, synonyms and entity resolution in an Alexa skill. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I will respond to them just as quickly as I can. If you liked uh, this video or did find it helpful, please like it. And we have now over 140 other Alexa and voice development tutorials on the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. So if you head over to youtube.com slash Dabble Lab, you can uh, check those out and hopefully uh, subscribe there. Thanks so much.